On the 31st of March 2022, my parents, Rachel and Graham, purchased this 16th century chateau located in La Perouse, central France, for just over 700,000 euros. Although some areas were dated, neglected and abandoned by its previous owners, most of the chateau was in really good condition for its age. However, with its 10 bedrooms, six communal rooms, but only two working toilets in the chateau, it was clear that we had taken on a big project. Luckily, with Graham's experience, the help of many friends and family, and a strong desire to do it right, we have what it takes to renovate this historic castle into a luxury hotel, events, and a treats and retreats location. While renovating such a historical building, we appreciate how important it is to pay homage to its original features. We are striving to exhibit a perfect blend of the comforts of modern luxury and the need to restore original historic details. Here is a little teaser of some of our completed rooms and how they look now. I hope you'll agree, they look beautiful. Although what you've witnessed already has been a cinematic masterpiece, the first two months at the Chateau were not documented on YouTube, and therefore the first few clips of each room's progression will be shown via photos and videos that were shared on our Facebook and Instagram profiles. Rest assured that from June 2022 onwards, everything completed at the Chateau has been documented in video format on YouTube. So the sheer quality of content will exceed your expectations once more. If you wanted to see any parts of this journey in more detail, you can find it all in our previous renovation videos. With Ravel being our first renovation challenge at the Chateau, there were a lot of hurdles to overcome. Exaggerated by the fact that we didn't really speak a word of French, this room transformation took a little longer than expected. However, it held us in good stead for tackling bigger and trickier rooms in the near future. Ravel is the smallest ensuite we've done at the Chateau, but with the space saving design of the shower cubicle, there is plenty of room for all of your bathroom needs. However, as it is very tricky to clean, this will likely be the last cubicle shower that we fit in the Chateau.
picking up both chairs and the bed for a little under 50 euros, Danielle took to learning a new skill, upholstery. With no experience and a severe lack of specific equipment, she took the plunge and dived into her challenge. She spent 10 plus hours giving these things a new lease of life and my word, didn't she do a fantastic job. With the first bedroom, Ravel, finished and open for business, we moved just down the hallway to room Lutess. With a clear idea of what we wanted to achieve in this room, we took to work right away. After stripping the wallpaper, it was clear that the walls were very mottled and needed to be skimmed with plaster. After a little bit of trial and error with different brands of French plaster, Dad found his perfect mix, Lutess 2000L. What would normally be a big job for a professional took Dad just a couple of days to finish, and after a light sand, the walls were ready to be painted. We absolutely love these tiles and everyone that has seen them always loves them too.
During the selling process, which took a little over six months, the previous owners understandably didn't really do anything to upkeep the gardens. This meant that when arriving, we had a lot of work to do to reclaim the garden's beauty. Trees had been grown, blocking the view of the chateau from the outside and spoiling the view from inside the chateau. The original cast iron and glass greenhouse still stood strong but lacked functionality due to the overgrowth. The space is now temporarily fixed with a clear plastic tarpaulin and is functional for growing the chateau's very own fruit and vegetables. The chateau's original entrance was outdated and too small for modern day vehicles and delivery trucks. So dad, with the help of the legend that is Charles, took to knocking down a section of the wall to create a much bigger, more practical entrance. We have since had plans approved to create a beautiful entrance for our guests. Work will start on that this summer. Although emptying, cleaning and refilling the pool may have looked successful, it was clear that the pool was leaking through the hoover attachment in the side. This left the water level below the filter pumps and thus meant that we couldn't filter the water throughout the summer. However, plans have since been accepted for a new pool, outdoor kitchen and dining area to be installed. We hope that that work will be completed on that sometime in the near future. If you are interested in seeing those plans, take a look at our previous videos.
Although we faced a few hurdles in this room, it is my favourite bathroom yet. I absolutely love these wall tiles and the shower is perfect. So Daniel and Mum got their colour in the first two rooms, so it was my time to paint a room grey. Admittedly, four grey walls would be a little bit dull, so having one feature wall of this beautiful wallpaper was a welcome addition. Danielle spent over 25 hours on these chairs, but she did a fantastic job and they look stunning in this room. And if you're interested, we have another video where you can watch the whole upholstery process from start to finish. The bed, bedside tables and the wardrobe were all bought off of a local off the of Facebook market for just 10 euros.
Hello. Well, as you can see, I'm alive and well. No longer a lasting effect from the bump on the head I received last week. Thank you for all your comments and concerns. And thank you to all those people who said they found it hilarious. Um, I've decided I need to take a bit more care of myself. So I'm going to be wearing a bit more PPE when I, when I work in the Jeep from now on. So, Okay, that's me ready. Let's get to work. chubby at the moment I do appreciate that I am identifying as a slim person um, that's correct I am trained slender Although the Jeet has come a long way, we still have loads of work to be done and we envisage at least another month or two before it's open for guests. When finished, it will have an industrial feel to it while also exhibiting the comforts of modern luxury. It will be used as a private, self-contained space for guests to spend a week or more 
in the grounds of our beautiful chateau. Why do the French only eat one egg because one egg is enough? much left to do in this bedroom. The window wall has been painted and off-white to match the wallpaper that will then go on the three remaining walls. A king-size handcrafted chateau style bed will make its way into this room along with two beautiful gold armchairs and a dressing table. This is our biggest room yet and with the two huge windows it gets so much natural light. Our guests will be able to lay in bed and watch the sun come up over the end of the garden.
this ensuite is going to be our biggest challenge yet. No water pipes in sight, no waste pipe to join into. It's going to be a big and messy job. But if there's one man that can do it, it's not me, it's Graham. Good luck, Dad. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. And to our regular viewers, see you next Sunday for our regular renovation update video. Bye.